Hey guys, welcome back to Animotion. In this tutorial today, I'm gonna show you how to do rotoscope animation. So what is rotoscope animation? It's an animation that's done by tracing over real footage frame by frame to achieve a realistic movement. The style of rotoscope can be limitless. It doesn't have to look exactly the same like the footage. You can do whatever you want with it. The footage is just there as a guide, basically. And here are some rotoscope animation that I like. So today I'm gonna show a more simplistic rotoscope animation, just because I wanna focus on the technique itself first. Then hopefully you guys can invent your own style. Firstly, what you need is a footage. So this is a footage that I opened in Photoshop and I downloaded this from Pexels. And for the drawing, I'm using my Wacom Cintiq tablet. The first thing that you wanna do, you wanna activate your timeline. So go to window and then select timeline. And it just created this tab. And basically this is your footage. So you have your playhead and if you scroll over your playhead, your footage is basically playing. And then there's an extension that I use to help me simplify this process. It's called AnimDesign. So I've downloaded it and I can access it from window, extension, and then go to AnimDesign. And I've put the link in the description below as well for you to download. Then make sure you set your frame rate accordingly. Set timeline frame rate. Mine is 25 frames per second because that is the standard here in Australia. Again, you can do any style you want, but here I will do a simple style of face outline tracing, like one of those, if you've seen the disclosure signature drawing style, I'm gonna do that kind of style. So I will create a layer here. So if I hit create a new layer here, it will create a whole new layer on top of your footage. So let's just minimize this and I'm gonna drag this all the way to the left. And basically at the moment, it's just one frame. That's your one frame. But I'm gonna extend it to be two frames because I'm gonna draw this every second frame. So in 2D animation, if your frame rate say is 25 frame per second, that means you can draw 25 images in a second. But most 2D animators don't do that. Most of them do it every second frame. The first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna select my brush and I'm just gonna select a normal hard round brush and the hardness is 100 and I want to make sure I click on this button so that the size of the brush is affected by my pen pressure and I'm gonna select a white color for this so I'm gonna do I'm gonna outline her face here so I'm just gonna do this kind of like one big line without lifting my pen off the tablet and it doesn't have to be perfect it really depends on what style you're going for obviously but for this one it's just gonna be like a squiggly can be like a bit messy kind of line before we move on to the next frame i just kind of like want to assess this image really quickly so what i did there i started from here and then just outline her face and then goes to the eyebrow goes to the eye and make like a spiral and then outline her nose and then go to the other eyebrow and then go to the eye and spiral it again. Go down to the nose, go down to the lip and then to the chin. It just so that the next frame, even though it's not gonna be exactly the same, the structure is still kind of the same, so it's not too messy. This is the time when we use the Anim Desin 2 tools. So I'm gonna create another layer. So there's this one layer, so you can create that if you click on that. You just create a layer that has one frame but if you click on this you create a layer that has two frames so i'm gonna undo that and i'm gonna create a layer that has two frames so i'm gonna click on that and usually the first time you do that it's gonna be created on top of your current layer so i'm just gonna click and drag and put it next to your current layer now there's this thing called onion skin so this is onion skin if you activate that Onion skin basically just kind of like shows the frame before your current and after frame. You can also adjust that. So there's this button here and this is the onion skin settings. If you click on that, so this is onion skin option and then they have the frames before at the moment it's set to one. So you can only see one frame before your current frame 
and then frames after one so only one frame after you can't frame basically and i'm just gonna leave it at that because to be honest this rotoscope animation i don't really need to know what's before and after it's just gonna be there as a guide it's not like i'm animating like a walking cycle or like a character animation it's just gonna be like a tracing over real footage kind of thing so the best guide for this case is the footage itself but i'm just gonna turn on the onion skin just so that i kind of like remember where i draw kind of thing so remember we start on this side and then i'm just gonna draw that again I'm gonna create another frames and then do the exact same thing again. Alright, for this tutorial, I'm just gonna do it until like one second, but I'm just gonna show you what we have at the moment. And I'm gonna turn off the onion skin for now. And move playhead here, and I'm gonna hit this button to kind of like move that to where my playhead is. Just hit play. So as you can see, it's already kind of like looking cool. But obviously it's only like four times two, so that's eight frames. So you can't really see much at the moment. Let's keep going. So I'm gonna create another frames. And this one, I'm just gonna leave it blank. Sometimes I like to leave some frames blank. Firstly, because I'm a bit lazy. Secondly, because it's kind of create this kind of like glitchy look. Again, it depends on the style that you're going for. So I'm gonna create another frames and leave this one blank and just start drawing from this one. And then I'm gonna leave this frame blank again and then create another frame. And then this time I'm gonna change the dynamic a little bit. I'm gonna make it a bit simpler. So instead of like drawing her whole face, I'm just gonna draw a bit of her face. So maybe let's start with her brows and then go to, uh, to her nose and then finish on her eye here and just leave it as that. Obviously you can keep going until it's like 5 seconds, 10 seconds but in this tutorial I just want to show you how it works so I'm just gonna work until 1 second here. Alright, now that we've reached 1 second, let's see what it looks like. There you go. As you can see because we left a couple of frames blank and there's a bit of that kind of like glitch and I personally like that kind of effect. Um, it's obviously not for everyone. Alright, we can finish there but I like to just add a bit of colors into it so let's just minimize that and I'm gonna name this lines just so that we don't get confused and name this footage I know we should have done this earlier but I just forgot and I am forgetful sometimes and I'm gonna copy this whole group and basically I'm just gonna click and drag it to the create new layer and just basically gonna copy it I'm gonna name this colors i'm gonna put that below the line because i want the colors to be behind the lines so like that don't worry if that happens just move your playhead along and it'll be it'll be fine um yeah it's just some sort of like a glitch that i don't know why that happens now i want to delete all of the layers except the first one of the colors remember the colors not the lines so delete all, them all and then for the first layer I'm just gonna erase what's on the frame but not deleting the layer itself. So hit Ctrl A and then backspace to just like delete what's on the frame. And now I'm gonna select a watercolor brush and I'm gonna select this one from the Carl's brush. I think they also integrate that with Adobe Photoshop now. And then I'm gonna select probably like a pinkish color. 
and I'm gonna turn up the brush here by hitting close square bracket I'm just gonna like make that bigger and then I'm gonna select the color group here and turn down the opacity just around 16 maybe that's fine all right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just give a bit of color on her dark side of the face so like her eyelid here her lower lid as well her side nose and her bottom nose and the bottom of her lips here and the other bottom lid and I think I'm just gonna leave it at that create a new frame and do the exact same thing now I'm gonna leave this frames blank like four four frames blank actually I'm gonna leave six frames blank because on this frame we don't have any lines as well now create another frame and then I'm gonna change the color to maybe like light green like that and we're gonna leave that as blank again and this one is gonna be a simpler one so I'm gonna change I'm gonna do this kind of like dark blue thing and I'm just gonna do it on her side of the nose just like that so it's simpler and just do it for the rest of the frames all right I'm so excited to see what this will look like. It might be ugly, but we'll see. Okay, that actually looks okay. That looks pretty cool. So yeah, that's how you do rotoscope animation. And as I said a million times in this video, you can do whatever style you want. And I'm so, so excited to see what you come up with. If you do create something, please tag me on Instagram so I can have a look at it and maybe I can um, repost it on Instagram if you allow me to. And make sure the footage that you use is free to use. So it's not someone else's footage. That's why I go to Pexels because um, you can use the footage in that website for personal, even commercial work. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoy this tutorial and I'll see you next time.